Had another question someone wanted to know, are my gallstones coming from high cholesterol, okay? Because they have both. Well, it is true that gallstones are made from cholesterol, but it's also true that you must, at the same time, be bile deficient. You must have a bile salt deficiency because in order to form a gallstone, you have to have this supersaturation of cholesterol. And bile helps keep the cholesterol broken up into small particles. So without bile, it can form into a stone. So now the question is, what causes a decrease in bile? That's going to answer how to get rid of your stones or actually prevent your getting a stone in the first place. So these are the causes of low quantities of bile in your body. Now the liver makes bile salts, and that bile salt then drains through a tube and gets stored into the gallbladder, okay? So the gallbladder is going to hold the bile and concentrate the bile, and it's going to contract when you eat, okay? So it's going to come out and help you break down fats and extract fat-soluble vitamins and other fats that you need into smaller particles. And then the pancreas is going to send an enzyme lipase to take it to the next level and break it down to the point where it can be absorbed into the small intestine. Number one, high estrogen can deplete your bile reserve. And that explains why some women that are on birth control have a higher risk of getting a stone, or if they're pregnant, they're at risk of getting a stone. Also, too much dairy can give you too much estrogen and give you a stone. Uh, high cortisol. This mainly is gonna be coming from medication, as in prednisone or cortisone type medication, which some people are on because they have pain or inflammation, and then all of a sudden they get a stone. Uh, high insulin, so pre-diabetics or diabetics are at risk of getting gallstones. Now you know why, because high carbohydrate diets deplete your bile. Okay, if you have liver damage, a fatty liver, which a lot of people have, cirrhosis, inflammation like hepatitis, or a gallbladder damage, or no gallbladder, because you, if you don't have a gallbladder, now you can't concentrate the bile. So it drains down, but it's not concentrated. Low folic acid or folate, low magnesium and acids, and low fat diets. Now, it is true, when you do keto and you're doing all this fat, you might not have the bile to digest it. So it creates a strain on the system. However, what triggers the release of bile is saturated fats. So people that are in a low fat diet tend to not use as much bile. There's less being produced. So there's more cholesterol, usually coming from all the carbohydrates or the sugar, but without the bile, it can't be broken down. So higher fat diets help decrease the risk of gallstones. I, I put a very interesting link down below in the description. Check it out because it talks about Two things. One is taking purified bile salts and being on a higher fat diet can actually decrease your risk for gallstones. And that is the reason why. All right. Thanks for watching. So if you're enjoying this content, go ahead and share it with someone that could really benefit from it.